In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the craziest laptop that we've ever had over here on the channel. This is the all new Lenovo YogaBook 9i, and I'm kind of blown away by what they've done here. Now, just taken out of the box, it doesn't look like anything super special. It's more of an ultrabook design, really thin. It's got a premium casing, and I mean, I love the color here. It does look really good. But once we open this thing up, you'll notice exactly what I'm talking about when I say this is one of the craziest laptops that we've seen here. First thing you're going to notice is there's no keyboard, and that's because the new Yoga 9i actually has dual 14-inch OLED displays. And with the software they've implemented here, it's pretty trick. On-screen keyboard, on-screen touchpad can come up at any given time by a gesture on the bottom screen. We can change the design of that keyboard. You can add sound and haptics, so you do get a little bit of feedback from it. In this video, I've got quite a lot that I want to cover here. So before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by URCD Keys. I've been using this site for quite some time now. They offer Steam Keys, Uplay, Ubisoft, but the main thing I pick up over here are Windows 11 Pro Keys. And right now, if you use code ETA, you can get 25% off. So at checkout, we'll just enter the code ETA. That's going to bring the price down to $22.88. They're going to email you that key and then you can activate windows speaking of that let's head over to a new pc that i recently built as you can see we're running windows 11 and from settings we're going to go to activation settings it's going to tell us that we're not active we don't have a key installed so we're just going to paste it right in here choose next it's going to activate windows for us and we're ready to go if you're in need of cheap windows keys i'll leave a link in the description and remember you can use code eta for 25 percent off Another thing I found really interesting about the new Yoga 9i is the fact that it does come with quite a lot of accessories. So we've got a nice soft case here. We can throw the whole thing inside. It also comes with a fold-out stand, and the way this is set up is pretty neat. So it magnetically attaches to the laptop itself, and you can see it kind of folds out. We can set this up vertically or horizontally. It's really up to you, and the laptop does sit in here quite nicely. Another thing we have is a mouse. So it's a nice wireless Bluetooth mouse that actually matches the color of the laptop. And it also comes with a color matched keyboard. And this will magnetically attach to the built-in stand. So if you want to set this up horizontally, screen on top of screen, it's going to look a little something like this. You might notice we do have some live wallpapers and these came pre-installed. There's a few to choose from and they look really good on this OLED display. Another thing that's included is the Yoga Pen. So this is really nice. It's a stylus. It'll allow you to write, draw. It does support tilt. And once this is all put together, it's actually a nice little workstation. The stand and keyboard also works in the vertical orientation, if that's the way you want to go. And there's some really awesome software built in that'll allow us to use uh, eBooks on this. And we can actually just swipe the pages and it turns it like a real page in a book. It's pretty awesome what they've done. Obviously, the main claim to fame for this laptop are the dual OLED displays. These are Lenovo's Pure Sight displays, and they do support variable refresh rates, anywhere from 48 hertz up to 120 hertz, and they're 2.8K each. So we've got a really high resolution here for these built-in displays. And since we've got OLED screens here, super deep blacks and very vibrant colors. This laptop also features Dolby Atmos soundbar, and in total, we've got four 2-watt speakers in this unit. As for I.O., we've got a total of three Thunderbolt 4 ports, plus our power button over here on the right-hand side. And when it comes to the overall specs, they do offer a couple RAM and storage configurations with this unit. But what we've got here is powered by the Intel Core Ultra 7 255H. 16 cores, 16 threads, up to 5.1 GHz, built-in Intel Arc 140T iGPU, 8XE cores, and this will clock up to 2.25 GHz. We've got 32 gigs of super fast LP DDR5X RAM running at 8400 mega transfers per second, a 1 terabyte Gen 4 M.2 SSD, two 120 hertz 14 inch OLED displays, resolution of 2880 by 1800, and this will do up to 500 nits of brightness, Wi Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and this is running Windows 11 out of the box. Like we saw, this does come with a mouse and keyboard, but we can also use this on-screen keyboard here. Eight finger touch will bring it up. It's fully customizable and there's a couple different presets here, but you can always add your own image and do a total custom keyboard on this unit. I did disable the sound, but I'm gonna turn it on real quick. And I'll tell you, it actually works way better than I thought it would. 
And we've also got an on-screen trackpad that can be brought up at any given time by doing a three finger touch. This is fully adjustable, so you could use the whole bottom screen as a touchpad if you wanted to. And with that Core Ultra 7 255H, I mean, this thing has more than enough power for emails, document editing, photo editing. You could do some video editing here. But it also comes with a yoga stylus, and I am not an artist, but I wanted to show you here. We can swipe up from the bottom, bring up kind of our notes app, and the stylus is great. It does support tilt functionality, so we've got that little line at the very end there. Plus, there's a built-in handwriting assistant. So if you want to use this to take notes and scribble kind of large, you definitely can. It'll actually take it down to a more manageable level. And you can change the font later on and uh, just copy and paste over to another notes app. It's really up to you. Now, again, with the chipset that we have here, I noticed that I'm seeing some really great performance. And this does boost up to around 45 watts. So I did run a couple benchmarks here in performance mode, and with Geekbench 6, we get a single core score of 2,886, multi 15,194. Remember, we don't have any extra threads here with this Core Ultra chip, and the new Intel Arc 140T iGPU is putting down some great performance, especially when it's paired up to this really fast RAM. 3D Mark Time Spy, first run here, we got a total score of 4,307. So yeah, this is a pretty impressive score for an iGPU, especially given that it's only running up to 45 watts in performance mode. Uh, this is not marketed as a gaming PC, but of course, I'm going to be testing some games here, so let's go ahead and jump over there now. Okay, so here we are with Forza Horizon 5, and with the recent Intel Arc updates for these iGPUs, I've been seeing an uplift across the board. Really nice performance. We're at medium settings, 1080p, and I like running these at, you know, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio because I do put them in my log. Most of the other stuff that I test is on a 16 by 9 monitor, so this will go right in the list. With this game, we're over 90 FPS on average with it running on this system. And if you take a look at Afterburner up in the top left hand corner, you can see the very last number there is our TDP. So that's our CPU wattage, 40 to 41 watts. The next game I wanted to test was Spider-Man 2. And with this, I did drop it down to 900p medium settings. We've got XESS, which is Intel's scaling technology set to balance. And even then we do get some dips under 60. This is one of those problematic games that, uh, you know, we're not sure if we're ever going to get real fixes for a lot of these iGPUs out there, but it is playable like it sits. And finally, we've got Cyberpunk 2077 1080p medium settings with XESS set to balanced. This is really impressive. I can really tell that these new Intel Arc drivers have given us a nice bump on this game here. This is one that, uh, you know, we've been trying to run on these Arc iGPUs for quite some time, over 60. And with it set up like this, medium settings, we're seeing an average of around 63 FPS. And every once in a while, you will see it dip under. Not exactly sure what's going on there. And I did try out frame generation. Unfortunately, we don't have XESS frame generation with Cyberpunk, so it was AMD's frame gen. Not great on these Intel Arc i GPUs, but it will give you a bit more if you don't mind using it. Obviously, the Yoga 9i isn't for everybody, and I really wasn't sure what to expect when I got my hands on this. But I gotta say, what they've done here with the built-in software is awesome. Now, unfortunately, if you wanted to install a different operating system on this, like Linux, there's a lot of stuff that just isn't going to work. Uh, On-screen keyboard, you'd have to find some way to get that running over in Linux. So this is really made for Windows. But with what Lenovo has done with the software here, this is a really unique experience. Love the fact that it does come with that keyboard and mouse. You can set this up as kind of a mobile workstation, photo and video editing, making music. You can game on this. Now, it's not recommended to be a gaming machine at all. But like you saw, I mean, with this new Intel Arc iGPU, this thing does put down some great performance for AAA gaming also. I've been able to mess around with this for about three days, and I'm going to spend a little more time with it. I might make a final review video on this, so if there's anything else you want to see running on this or anything tested, please let me know in the comments below. I thought it was super unique, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick first look video at it. But again, if there's anything you want to see running on the new Yoga 9i, let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning a little more, I will leave links to the official Lenovo website in the description below. But that's it for this one. Like always, Thanks for watching.